Hi, this is Terry Hammond. As you know, you've uh, just had surgery um, to repair your shoulder joint. Um, and uh, this video is for people who, for whatever reason, can't or um, uh, don't want to come back and see me in my rooms. Um, the, the plan of uh, post-operative uh, treatment is as follows. So uh, the big bulky dressing you would have had on should have come after a, off after a couple of days. Underneath there, you'll see little waterproof dressings. They've normally got a bit of black fluid underneath them. They should stay on for a total of two weeks from the date of surgery. Uh, you can then just peel them off just simply like a band-aid. They come off very easily. Just leave the skin bare underneath them. There's no stitches to come out. They're all dissolvable. Um, so those dressings off after a couple of weeks. So right down to bare skin after a couple of weeks. So you'll be in a sling. And during that time, you're allowed to do hand, wrist and elbow exercises. So come out of the sling, fully bend your elbow down, fully um, straighten your arm like, sorry, straighten your elbow and bend it fully up. You're allowed to use your hand, wrist and elbow, and you can do a few little things in the sling here. So you can do things like typing, eating your dinner, all the sort of things that you can do with your hand in the sling with your elbow by your side, you're allowed to do. Now, I definitely want you to come out of the sling and just lift up your arm, um, just a little gently like this, just to get some air underneath that arm there. That's really important to do that. And you probably want to do that about 20 or 30 times a day, or probably not that many, probably 10 or 15 times a day, just to get some air underneath there in our hot climate. It's important to keep that nice and dry. And you're allowed to lift that just gently there. You're not allowed to lift it up to that high, so less than shoulder height, you're allowed to lift it. You're not allowed to turn your hand out this way. So up and out that way would be really bad. We just wanna keep everything just down in front of your body like that. So those movements are okay just to get some air underneath there. So for the first six weeks you're in the sling, the sling comes off after six weeks and then you are allowed to move your arm any way you like in terms of positioning. So you can move your arm to whatever position it feels to, it gets to with comfort. So it'll be stiff, you won't be able to move it fully but you're allowed to move it just to the limit of where it feels like it wants to stop. Don't go beyond that, don't force the movement, particularly out and up that way, don't force it. Let that come right by itself. Gradually over time, it'll get a bit better and a bit better. The movement will come back, the strength will come back over time. You are not allowed to do anything really heavy sort of weights or any weights at all really until four months after surgery. Four months after surgery, you can then start some very light weights, work up to full weights at about six months after surgery. At six months after surgery, you're allowed to go back to all sport without restrictions at that stage. So that's your plan of post-operative treatment. Just to summarize, big dressing off after a couple of days, little dressings, waterproof ones that you can have a shower with. They come off after two weeks. Uh, sling is on for six weeks. Hand, wrist and elbow exercises. Hand in the sling is fine. Up to there is fine, but not out that way at all. Sling comes off after six weeks. Gradually let the movement and strength come back over time. Weight start at four months, work up to full weights at six months, six months back to sport. If there's any dramas at all, please ring me in my rooms, uh, ring my rooms or ring me, um, and certainly you're welcome to come back at any time and I can see you in my rooms and check that everything's okay. Okay then?